How's it going, ladies? through a lot of things, especially things that are hinting towards the UK being the next region for Pokemon Generation 8. So that's what we're going to go through today. We're going to go through all the information or all the hints, uh, potential hints that we know of so far, um, which we've talked about now for several months. Uh, we're going to take a look at all of them and see how they all look like together. But before we get into that, um, uh, there has been a lot of debate recently about who really talked about the Generation 8 being the UK the first. Now, of course, uh, there was a video, I think, last year by Mr. Actually, a year before last year, I think in 2017, there might have been a video by Mr. Buddy just doing a a kind of like one of his like uh, regions videos, right? Like where he just you know makes a region out of a country. Uh, but he never said his video was implying that the next generation was Generation Eight. So he was never doing that. But guess what? Back in uh, back in last year, uh, back in like what? Uh, let me see here. Uh, this was November and this one right here. Boom. So this was back in August of 2018, right? Uh, this is when I made the first video about uh, first video about the UK being the Generation 8 uh, region. Uh, right here. Pokemon Switch 2019, new rumor, Gen 8 based on UK rumor and hints in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And I made a video about the little map. Right, and then I suggested it could be the UK, and I gave a, you know a few other points and whatnot, and that was the video. And this was uploaded on the 11th of August. Okay, this was way long ago. This is like what eight eight months ago, over eight month, months ago at this point, I think. This was ages ago. Um, so I uploaded my shit a long time ago. So if anybody tries to claim that I've been taking somebody else's theories or anything like that, I have not. I've been making up my own points and taking things that have been sent to me directly from my viewers only. Nothing else. Um, and I made my video way before anybody even was suggesting that it could be the UK. Um, that's just all I'm trying to point out. And also, the most recent video I did about the UK uh, that did, you know, amazingly well and people watched it was this one back in the 26th of November. You know, I mean, last year as well is when I made this video about Generation 8 being, uh, you know, being the UK uh, might be hinted in the anime and games and in this one I showed more images and whatnot see the, the, the images we're going to talk about today I showed these like also uh, back in this video in November by the way November okay not not to uh, you know January or February no November of last year um, when when a certain individual wasn't even talking about uh, Generation 8 yet, um, because that individual was caught up with Let's Go. Either way, uh, just want to give that little piece of information right there, just so I can get myself across uh, clearly, because I have been talking about the Gen uh, Generation 8 games being based on the UK for months and months and months already. I mean, but in a few months, it's going to be over a year since I talked the first, uh, first time about it. So, again, I want to get that point across. Now, let's get into actual information here and talk about what we have that is could potentially be hinting at where the next region is going to be based. So the first thing, of course, is the little map on the uh, next to the fridge. I think there's a fridge, right? Uh, next to the fridge in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, there is a calendar that is showing an island and a smaller island right next to it. Now, there's been a lot of speculation of what that could be. People have said it could be a part of Japan, it could be the Bahamas, it could be this, it could be that. There's a lot of speculations. I originally, back in my video on in uh, here, this video back in August, I suggested it's the UK, because if you look at the actual shape right here, and you can always check this video, if you don't want to listen to this one, uh, but I said that like you know, it looks like it's the the base shape of the UK, right? So this this part right here um, of the actual you know like map here, this base part is the base base of the UK, right? Um, just this area right here, Scotland, England, Wales. But this part, this little part that sticks out, that's really small, is just Northern Ireland. That's what I suggested because that would be specifically the UK because Ireland is is its own country. So you shouldn't really be including it if you're making a UK based region or and you know uh, whatever. You shouldn't be including Ireland because Ireland is is its own country and Northern Ireland is uh, you know separate. Uh, it's you know the part a part of the UK. So, you know, that should just get the general, you know, general ID across to you guys. So, I wanted to point that out because a lot of people tend to be, you know, a little bit skewed, uh, skewed upon it. Uh, can tend to be a little bit, like, confused about it. But that's, that's the point I'm trying to make across. Because I never say, like, that it's the whole of Ireland and Northern Ireland. I always said, like, you know, it's the, just the Northern Ireland part. It's just that chunk that is, uh, you know, that's the little island right there. So, they're not including Ireland at all, but just Northern Ireland. Which would have been really weird, actually, if they are doing that. But, you know, we'll see what happens, though. So, I just want to point that out. That's one of the first things we, of course, had. Uh, that was potentially hinting at Generation 8 being based on the UK. But, we also had other stuff. For example... This was sent to me by Ashi back on the 26th of November, and he basically sent me this, which is a, a you know, a picture from the anime episode where uh, Ash is, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? 
Come on now, Bazingas, help me. Uh, Ash is basically watching a TV show where an actor is currently in a area that looks just like he's on walking on London Bridge, and in the background you can see like the House of Parliament and like I think Big Ben potentially there as well. Um, the point I'm trying to get across is this is also another image that could potentially be hinting, right? I mean, again, we can't claim it's going to be the UK because there is no actual evidence for that happening. But this so far is the closest we've had towards something as relevant as hints, right? And this is what is doing. This is hinting at what it could be happening. So this definitely is an interesting hint. Of course, I had another image of this, uh, which I'm not sure if I have here, but I'll, I think I got it in this old video I made. Uh, or actually, this, no, not this, this one right here. Um... Let me see if I can find the actual image for you guys right there. So I'm going to remove my face cam for a second. You guys can see what I'm talking about. So th that right there is another image I had, which was sent to me by another viewer uh, in, you know, back in November on the 26th. This was sent to me as well, and it shows like the character from a front face, and you can also see the more of the background, you know, the Big Ben, etc. Uh, lights really foggy like it is in the UK, etc. All the, that sort of stuff. You get the general gist of it, you know, it's just, it just gets across pretty simply, and you, you know what it is. Uh, but that was also shown. Now, what is the final thing we've had now as a hint in recent times? Well, the most recent thing is, of course, this thing right here. This is from the Pokemon Kids TV, Pokemon Kids TV channel, which does nursery rhymes. And this specific video here uh, is like a, a video called, or, you know, a nursery rhyme called London Bridge is Falling Down. You know, London Bridge is Falling Down, Falling Down, etc. Um, and in the background, you can actually see London, right? You can see, like, the big old Ferris wheel. I'm not sure what it's actually called, like, specifically the name of it. You can see London Bridge. You can see, like, the House of Parliament over here, I think. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but it's not, like, you know, correctly positioned or whatever, but, like, you know, it's, it's just to get the point across that it is London in the background, and it's the UK. Um, and also, by the way, the graphics on this video were really freaking nice. Like, the actual animations on these were actually pretty solid. I kind of liked them. I've, I've got to be honest. I kind of liked them. Um... What was the final thing I was going to say in terms of this? Well, basically, my point, the point I'm trying to get across is that in this, they show London in the background, uh, which is very strange, because on top of that, you also have potentially Masuda hinting this sort of stuff. Let me just get the tweets up here from this bad boy really quick. But it seems like Masuda could also be hinting at what we might be getting, uh, you know, and why we might be getting uh, the UK as the next region. But let me just pop it up real quick and find it for you guys, see if I can actually find it here. But it's just a little bit far away. Okay, I don't seem to be able to find the actual image, but that's besides the point. Either way, uh, I couldn't find it, but it's, it's going to take too long to find this mid-recording, uh, you know, mid -recording, but... Um, he was tweeting out a few things that could potentially also be hinting at the next games being based on the UK. Uh, also, he was in Strasbourg recently in France, you know, uh, next, like in France, uh, really close to Germany. And, you know, I've been thinking you know, maybe it could also be Germany for the next region, because who knows? We literally don't know. The problem with this right now is that we just do not have enough information to make a substantial, you know, claim. Because there, this, there is no, there is no leaks right now. There are no leaks. There is nothing actually from Nintendo officially about what we're getting in Generation 8. There's no official announcement yet there's no like no proper leaks there are no leaks okay by the way there are no leaks we've gotten zero leaks besides the merchandise side because that's the only one that is getting actual information the merchandising is the only side that's actually gotten any info so yeah we've gone through most of it though as i said we've got the hints in the anime which uh, does show the uk in the background here uh we've got this little map that does resemble the uk not like exactly you know point to point but that's not what it's meant to be like you're not supposed to be having it exactly identical because that's not really what they tend to do um you know they don't tend to do that too often um so i just want to kind of bring that up as well and then of course you know i've uh, got my old video here in this old video as well if you want to check out these individual videos because in these videos i go more in depth on specifically these topics and why i think they might be right and of course most recently we had the london bridges falling down nursery rhyme which also just goes very much like super in depth uh, on all this stuff and yeah i thought it was just kind of interesting also uh, i was going to show you guys this in a video yesterday i know this is really unrelated uh, but before we continue with this video i just want to kind of show you guys this so i've been like building these uh <laughs> it's kind of weird but i'm building these um Warhammer 40k uh, little figurines and painting them. So that's what I've been doing on my free time right now. Uh, you know, while working on videos and making videos and just that sort of stuff in between. That's what I've been working on. Been building. Got my paint set over here um, for the Space Marines. Got the paint set. And yeah, that's just kind of what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, just want to kind of show that because I thought it was a fun thing to mention. Either way, besides that though, uh, we've gone through most of it. I don't think there's really much else I can really tell you guys besides that. And yeah, I want to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, because honestly, a UK region is something I've wanted for a long time. As I mentioned back in my, like, 
old video about this back in August. I literally, like, I would love the UK to be a region because there's so much cool stuff there. There's a great history. It does have a connection right to France because France is right next to the UK and they have a bloody history, right? They've been warring for the ages, right? There's two countries that have been under constant conflict until recent, most recent times during, like, what, uh, you know, World War World War One, World War Two, I think? That's when they weren't, like, you know, against each other, uh, but more like a unified front. At least in World War II, they were a unified front and fought together, um, you know, against the Germans. Um, so, like, the point I'm trying to get across is that it's the perfect country to kind of do another region on. The most recent one we had was Alola, right? It was, oh, okay, cool. Alola was, uh, you know, based on, um, you know, a place in the U.S., place, you know, in North America. Uh, so, how about we take something again from Europe, and then maybe next generation could be something from Japan again, or just something from the Asian region of the world, uh, or something like that. But then again, I still think there's a chance that the next region is going to be based on something more like, chi like China or something like that, you know, more of an Asian country. That's still possible, but it's just all, you know, a little bit all over the place because we don't know what we'll be getting yet and there's just not enough information out in the public for us to do that yet. So yeah guys, as I said though, we have got this hint in the anime, we've got a hint in the games, potentially a hint in the games, this is not guaranteed, and of course we've got the little song here which just seems a little bit strange. It feels like there's a lot of silhouettes about the UK in the background, and yeah. So either way guys, thank you so much for watching the video, if you guys did enjoy, drop a like down below, my name is Rural Rallies, I'll see you all in the next video guys, have a great day and bye bye, ladies and gentlemen.